So I hate to say it, but there are actually rules to photography. I know it's kind of weird that there would be rules to an art form, but just go online, Google rules for photography, and you'll find all kinds of lists of rules and guidelines that you have to follow. And they're all pretty much the same things, you know, rule of thirds, uh, you know, guidance and rules on exposure and how to compose and all kinds of different things that are basically the same principles that you'll hear from everybody. Uh, for when you're learning and when you want to get better at photography, these are the basic rules that you really need to follow. But there's really one rule that you should absolutely follow in every situation, and that is forget the rules. Don't follow the rules. Now, I know that's easy for say to somebody like me who's been shooting for a really long time and kind of has been following the rules all along for me to say to you guys, ah, forget the rules. But what I mean is what I want you to do is learn the rules, know the rules, know all the basic structures and components of composition and framing and exposure and all of that stuff. And once you know it, once you have it down pat, then you can start thinking more outside the box. And when you do that, you're gonna start really developing more of your own personal style. So, you know, really following, you know, the, the basics of, you know, from the very, very beginning, when you get your camera and you learn aperture and shutter speed and ISO and different focal lengths and how to frame things and compose things and how it all works together. It's really important to know those rules and that's why we have those rules. But getting outside and beyond that, you'll find that when you're shooting, when you have those rules and you've been following them and you've been doing it for a few years and you're really getting good at it and really getting comfortable with your camera and really getting comfortable with composing and taking your own shots, you're gonna find that you're gonna use those rules to actually get outside of those rules. So you'll, you'll see a situation, you'll be at a scene and you'll say, you know, this is what I know. This is, I know that I should be putting this focal point at the one third spot and I should have my leading lines going in like this. And you know, take that shot, get that shot. That's the shot that you should be getting. But don't stop there, go beyond that. Say, okay, you know what, let me, break the rules, and you're not really breaking the rules because it's an art form. There really aren't rules, it's guidelines. You're gonna break the rules and you're gonna try different things. You're gonna try different compositions. You're gonna try different exposures. You're gonna throw it into a silhouette. You're gonna throw something out of focus and, and put your focal point on something completely different than you normally would. Go outside the rules, break the rules, know the rules, definitely know the rules, know how to compose, no exposure, no all of your settings and everything like that. And, you know, because there's, there's a reason why those are the rules and it's because, you know, art is uh, subjective, definitely. But, you know, there are certain forms of art, really every form of art, uh, the visual arts, that the things that are pleasing to us, the things that we see that actually catch our attention and catch our eye, uh, are all very similar in that, you know, it's just kind of the way that humans are made. You know, we find, you know, leading lines, although we don't even maybe consciously realize that they're leading lines, they work. They work almost every single time. Uh, you know, a line coming in from the corner, from each corner, or an S-curve going through the image is something that's going to lead your eye to where the, uh, to the artist wants you to see it. Uh, but it's that's why that's why those things are rules because those are the things that time and time again are going to work they're going to actually make your composition look better so definitely do those definitely stick with those rules but like i said work outside the box go beyond the rules try different things try and be more creative and that's where you're going to find your own personal style uh is within that framework but you know varying in different directions outside of the box uh, within the framework of the standard photography rules. So the more you shoot, the more you use your camera, use it every single day, the more you go out there and shoot, you're gonna be able to get outside and you know change the way you're shooting and make it more personal about yourself. So definitely go out there, shoot more often, develop your own personal style, keeping the rules in mind, but purposely breaking the rules at the same time. So let us know in the comments below, what's your favorite rule? What's your favorite rule to break? other tips that you might have for, uh, you know, doing things differently, things that most photographers aren't necessarily doing, or when you get, you know, going from beginner to, uh, you know, to intermediate on your way to experienced, uh, some things that maybe you've learned that you can kind of, uh, you know, throw out the rule book and make it your own. We love to hear from you, so definitely comments and questions below. Let us know what you think. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.